campers and welcome back to the Concordia Campground at St. John, U.S. Virgin Island. You know, the last uh, video that I put up, I was showing you the boardwalk project that we worked on here. You know, I was thinking about doing it as sort of like a, a DIY network project where you get to see all the stuff that we deal with and in the end you see the finished product. Well, one of the things I determined is that those guys on DIY network, they're not doing their own editing. They're not doing their own photography. Pretty quickly I got to the point where it was like, I just can't do it all. So, we're going to skip all the stuff in between and we're going to go straight to the reveal. Come on, let's go look at that boardwalk project now. You'll recall from the first video that I did, this area right here was where we mixed the cement. Remember we were mixing up the cement, put in a wheelbarrow, and then we took that wheelbarrow up the walkway up and around the corner. But this walkway is a different walkway. This walkway is a brand new walkway. We completely tore down the old one. The only thing that we didn't tear down was the footings. We used those and we used the brackets, but everything else was taken down and rebuilt. Now, our intention was to have this boardwalk be very, very level, but out of necessity, because we were using the existing footers, we actually had to build it on top of existing footers you can see. And so this side over here ended up out of necessity being higher which made the whole boardwalk higher up for this first maybe 50 feet and therefore we were not able to make it completely level but once you get to this point right here then from here all the way over to the pool house it's almost completely level. One of the hardest parts of this uh, part of the boardwalk was this corner right here because it turns out to be almost a right degree turn and let me show you over the edge here. It was pretty high up. Now, we didn't have any ladders that were long enough to make that uh, height, nor is that ground really stable enough for a ladder. So what had to be done is we had to build scaffolding and bracing and then stand on it to get the joist in. And you'll also notice as you look down there, there's a lot of bolts. This whole uh, foundation had to be bolted securely against winds coming in. Now I've been showing you the progress that we've been making with the wood, but I want to let you in on something that you don't see from the top side, and that's these bolts right here. As you can see going down there, we have to bolt this, these 4x4s and the headers and the, uh, the 4x4s that are used for the handrails with half inch long, with half inch diameter, somewhere between 6 and 8 inch long bolts. We will put in probably around 600 of these uh, that we will drill and install before we're finished with this. A lot of voltage goes in underneath. I would say this was probably the most dangerous intersection, though nobody got hurt, but being that high up off the ground, uh, yeah, it's a little squirrely. But let us continue on. Now this right here is a milestone point in this boardwalk. The very first video that I did, I was actually standing right here and shooting a picture out that way. And as you recall, there was nothing there. There was absolutely nothing there. This is where the boardwalk ended. And in fact, this is the old boardwalk. You see the aluminum bridges down there that we had down going down into the cut. This is the old boardwalk. It's actually being dismantled right now. But you can see that it's quite a bit lower. It's about five feet lower than the one that I'm standing on. So, out with the old and in with the new. Moving on. Now, it's looking forward at that corner there. That was the first structure, the first foundation structure that we put up on the opposite side of the ravine, if you remember. You saw the video that showed that structure, those 2 by 12 uh, joists going across the ravine to the foundation on the other side. And I said that I was going to be able to stand on this corner right here when we got completed and be able to show you pictures in both directions. This is heading back toward the structure that was already there. And this is all new construction. Every part of this is all new construction. Now looking back in the uh, opposite direction, I'm now on the the part of the boardwalk that was already under construction, looking back at the corner. If you recall the video, from here forward, there was absolutely nothing here. In fact, <clears throat> let me show you over the edge here. That footer right there is the first one that we poured 
I actually show uh, Casey screening that. That was the very first foot that we poured. Beyond this, there was nothing out there at all. Everything from here forward was built. And backing up a little bit further, if you go back and look at that video, you'll see that from about this point right here, there were four by four posts up, but nothing else. We hadn't yet put the rafters on, definitely not the decking, definitely not the railing. And you look forward, you see that crosswalk that goes over to the eco tent. There was nothing there either. Speaking of crosswalks, I showed you this one also earlier too. That was the access from the old boardwalk to come over here. And if I follow this through, it actually took you to the eco tent. Of course, we pulled down the old bridge and we built a new bridge in its place. But this is the old boardwalk, the piece of the old boardwalk that we use to get lumber up here and sometimes ourselves during the construction of this part. And continuing along, this part of the boardwalk was mostly built when I showed up here and the other volunteers that were here with me when we showed up here about six weeks ago. But even at that time, it did not have the railings on it. It had most of the deck boards, but not the railings. So the railing going from the beginning of the boardwalk all the way down to the road, part of the projects that uh, we did in the last six weeks. This here is one of the projects that did not get completed, at least during my tenure. That's the old guest laundry. The plan had been to tear that down and to rebuild it over here on this side of the boardwalk, but that didn't get done. The boardwalk itself kind of used up all of the time, uh, and they've actually made some changes on where they're going to put it. And so coming up to the end of the boardwalk, this is the part now that brings you around to the pool area and that's the pool area. And so from here, about 600 feet back that way, you find the road. Now let me give you a little context from above. You can see the boardwalk coming off the pool area through the trees here. And I lose it again in the trees, heading all the way out down there, which is where the corner is. And as we go to the left, you see it in the distance out there, snaking out to the road. About 600 feet of boardwalk. I gotta tell you, when you're crawling around on your belly down below that boardwalk, you don't think about how big it is. But it's big. There were a couple of other projects that I worked on while I was here. One is up there at the pump station. The old floor, which was a plywood floor, had gotten wet and was ratty, and the pump and equipment was falling through it. So, with the help of a local plumber, Mark, and his partner, Buddy, uh, we took all the gear out of that space, ripped up the old floor, put in a new solid foundation, and then decked everything with good solid treated timber. So that floor should probably last about 20 years before anybody has to do anything with that again. And then the other project that I worked on was power washing. All this deck, every single bit of this boardwalk here, I power washed it. I don't know how many feet, linear feet this is, but it's about five days worth of power washing. Everything you see here, round over that turn and going down, there's some guest units down there. And then this stairway going up to that walkway, goes over to the taxi stand in that direction, to another couple of units down there, which of course you can't see because the tree's are there. And as hard as it was to do all of this power washing, I mean, we are talking about 90 degree days, high humidity, and when the sun is baking this boardwalk, it bakes it. It was a lot easier than crawling around like an iguana under that boardwalk, putting in all those half inch bolts. Who'd have thought I would say this was easy? Well, you know how it is. Context is decisive. So there you have it. The Concordia Boardwalk Project, done. That boardwalk project ended up taking quite a bit more time and energy than what I was expecting. And so there were 
many things that I thought I would be doing while I was here on this trip that I didn't get around to doing. Didn't get to visit all the pirate venues. Got to do some nice snorkeling, but not nearly enough. So there just may be a trip back here to St. John in the future. But for now, it's time to wrap up this leg of my adventures. Now, what's next? Well, I'll be getting back stateside in a couple of days, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up with Rachel on her Mountain to the Sea hike. She's far along in that, and I'm really looking forward to getting there and supporting her. I'll be traveling with her for a couple of weeks. And after that, well, I'm just not sure. I know that I'm going to stay someplace warm for the winter, that's for sure. And you know, I've said, if I stay at your place, I'll build stuff for you. Make no mistake, I'm not building any more boardwalks, just so you know. All right. So from here, I'm not exactly sure. I'll be heading down probably to Mexico later this winter. We'll see how that works out. So all righty then. Hasta luego from Concordia Campground, St. John, Virgin Islands. I'll be catching you later. Thank you.